I steal food from the grocery store where I work that they make us throw away. I work in the deli of a local grocery store and they make us throw away so much food. I barely have any money, I'm trying to survive on food stamps and a tiny amount I'm paid. So I have what I call the meat glove, a plastic glove I keep in my apron and when I'm alone I fill it with the extra bits of meat that are perfectly fine but they won't let us sell. It's usually the only thing I get to eat on days I work. I feel bad but also it feels wrong letting it just go in the trash. Still a portion of people's change at work to buy lunch. One of my first jobs was in a big electronic store chain, the pay wasn't great and often I couldn't afford lunch, I'd routinely forget to give someone a one pound out of their change when they bought a high ticket item in cash. Then if I got three pounds I could go get a lunch deal at the supermarket, no one ever noticed. When I was in high school I stole my sister's favorite CD, broke it and threw it into the woods. However, I feel completely justified by my actions. Her favorite album is High School Musical, and I, I am a big fan of quality musicals so High School Musical felt blasphemous. She was very upset when she couldn't find her CD, but I had to save my family from garbage shortens. Wasting time on that instead of enjoying some Jesus Christ Superstar, Little Shop, Chicago, Wicked or other great shows is culturally devastating. Since I'm not ashamed I guess that is my real confession. I am willing to take drastic measures if I can't stand a loved one's taste in music. I stole coffee from Mazda, as I could not afford it. I am poor, lost job because of COVID, I had 12 pounds left and went to have cheapest stuff I could eat for 2 weeks but couldn't afford cough, I took the thing where you scan stuff yourself and hide the cough under as the range chips packs, I was nervous to be caught, but I succeed. I corrupted a file meant for my history project so I could get extra time. This is really stupid. But I didn't finish a project on time and so sent the teacher a corrupted file. She bought it. I got an extra day to make the project. This is nothing at all but holy hell it's the first time I've ever done something wrong. I've always been a classic goody two shoes. My descent into a life of crime begins now I guess. I broke a school-issued computer's headphone jack and got away with it. This was in 2016. I was listening to music on my bunk bed when all of a sudden my sister yanked my earbuds out so she could use them. Now, the problem was that she pulled them out of the headphone jack at an angle. It scratched the side of the port and caused severe audio distortion to any earbuds that used it. At the end of the year, when it was time to give the computers back to the school, we had to confirm that we did not break them in an inspection conducted by the school. They would call the students in waves to inspect the computers in the office. The funny thing was that they asked you questions and didn't even fully inspect them. I admit, I lied, but I couldn't let my parents have to pay for a new headphone jack because of something I did. Well, my sister more specifically, my excellent reputation allowed me to get by with the lie, and it haunts me to this day. T.L. Doctor, broke a computer's headphone jack, lied to my school to get out of trouble. I stole a bottle of water in front of the employees. It is really not a big deal but this makes me smile as much as it makes me feel bad. It was a really hot summer and I went into a shop to buy a bottle of water. I took it and started to drink because I was really hot. I thought I would pay it afterwards but I ended up finish it in the store itself. So I went in front of an employee, asked him where there was a trash to throw away my empty bottle and I left. It was the one and only time I stole something, so I felt bad. But still, it was kind of funny for me to ask where I could left my stolen product to an employee of the store.